of a great secret in the floating town of Glitchfield. Hello. Let's ride the cheap blimp there. Come on now. Or come now. You there. Two tickets. One great and evil king and one sweet young thing. Hello. G -g 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 Good gravy. B -b Bowser, the evil king, and the deluded old hag. Uh, I, I mean, uh, life's too short. What did he just say? Hey, come back here, you incuding little cheapskate! I get it, cheapskate isn't like cheap, 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 dude. Hey, I'm talking to myself. Where did Lord Bowser go? Oh, hello, oh dear. Oh my god, guys, it's the clown car. Before it was overused in Bowser Jr. <laughs> Forget that wimpy blimpy. I'll be riding this baby. I snuck into Glitzville once before, so I know the way. No problemo. You go easy on your limbs and take the slow ride on the blimp, Grandma. Wait, Lord Bowser, please! Aww. Now my special dirigible deluxe brown bag candy lunch will go to waste. Aww. Oh, I don't even want to hear about the brown bag cami lunch that- No, it just sounds so unappealing. Hello everyone, Angel the Buff here, and welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Doors. I know it's a weird way to start off with a Bowser thing and no real intro, but yeah. Oh, uh, that doesn't sound good. What's that warning light mean? I didn't get to finish that. That auto-skipped. <laughs> Sorry, I know that was really weird, but yeah, why not? Anyway, it's time for another 2D Bowser level. I love these. Ready to roll. Here we go. We can breathe fire underwater still and burn the... What is that? Um, That's not seaweed. That's anemone? Am I saying that right? I don't know. I, know, I just know it's not seaweed. It's too, you know, solid to be seaweed. Or maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe it's just... It, it just looks weird. Is that That's all. Okay, we got some ham there. Let's get some ham. Wait, get the ham. Get Eat ham! Okay, there we go. We can break these blocks over here. He walks super slow underwater because, you know, it's water. It's usually how Mario games handle water. If you walk in it, it will be very, very slow. And now we're invincible. We can just keep on running. Or swimming, I mean, not running. We can swim, swim, swim as far as our little... Oh. Another ham? Wait, what? Wait a minute. What happens if we eat more... Are you kidding me? You know what? Fine. <laughs> go, go get it, get it, get it! Oh! Okay, you know what? I'm fine with this. I'm fine. We're still giant. We're Giga Bowser. So, do these coins carry over to Mario? I hope so, because that's 29 coins, and that's you know it's worth it. Oh, I still want it. Anyway, we're too big to fit in that pipe. So let's go up here, and then, boom! Here we go. We can just crush through everything. And oh god, am I gonna die from that? No, I'm not. Anyway, there goes the flagpole, and we're higher than the score. And just like that, it's over. Finish. It's like Mario Party now. Finish! <laughs> oh, that was horrible. I gotta get in shape. Who's what? It's Bowser, the evil Koopa King. Or I didn't say evil, but still. He'll eat us. Someone help! That what? That was just. Did you see that? That one was just gliding. That one didn't have an animation. That was just gliding around the. What did you see that? He was just gliding. And oh my god, Cammy. There you are, Lord Bowser. What are you doing over here? I've been looking all over. If I may ask, where have you been, your sorriness? Swimming. Really? Neat. As for me, Glitzville was fantastic. The fights were so cool. I was overcome. Why, even at my age, I was shaking what my mama gave me. I don't want to know what that means, Cammy. Please. No. And then, the hot dogs. Oh gracious, Yummerly! You have fun too, hmm? <sighs> Lord Bowser, is that a no? It was terrible! You hear me? I spoiled a dang blooper! I wanted to have fun! But forget it, it's over! Go get me some solid info on Princess Peach and the Crystal Stars now! Oh my god, Bowser. Yeah, I'd love to save at this point. Bowser, oh my god. 
that was funny. I like that scene a lot. That's one of my favorite uh, Bowser scenes and Cammy, uh, Bowser and Cammy scenes. It's it's funny, you know. It's so pure, and then Bowser's just like, no more fun. Anyway, it's time to return back to the real Mario and Vivian. Oh, Vivian, I love her. I can't believe it was a fake Mario all that time. So we were all fooled. I'm so sorry, Mario. After all you've done for our town, did we hurt your feelings? Nah, not really. You're a bigger man than I, Mario. Such fortitude. You're a true hero. You've brought a shining ray of light to our dim little town. Twilight Town thanks you. Hey, Mario. We need to get back to Rogueport, right? Let's go. Please come back to visit any time you want. Or you'd like. Sorry for that cut there. We're finally back at Twilight Town, and, um... Yeah. We're gonna save right here, because I don't want to go through all that again, and... It's so sad. It... I'm just like, this town is so sad, but, you know... It's just... I, I love you guys, and I'm sad for you at the same time, but, you know... It's the way they're supposed to be. Anyway, let's see what these crows say after the fact that everything's, like, fixed now. Solar pa- wait, what? Oh, wait, they're still talking about this? Ooh. Oh, God. That's... Wait, is that the same, or is that new? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure that's new, though. I don't remember seeing that. Or... You know what I mean. Anyways, go back down. We have our name written, and Vivian, you have your name written, too? I thought you would have to teleport back. But no, she's just following us. Okay, so we're back here, and now we're gonna go back... I, I said back, like, 40 times. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, my goodness! Mario! Would that be Nina from Princess Peach? My dear Mario, I finally learned what the legendary treasure is for free. It's the spirits of a demon. The x nots plan to revive the thousand-year-old monster and use its power to take over the world. They're collecting the crystal stars so they can open the thousand-year door. They'll find this demon spirit, but the only thing they can keep it locked away is the crystal stars themselves. You must not let them get the crystal stars. Please, Mario, you must put a stop to their horrible plans for free. Princess Peach. An ancient demon spirit? Hmm. Vivian. You were on the evil team once. Do you know anything about this? I'm pretty sure she knew she would have told us from a long time ago, so I don't think she knows anything, unfortunately. Maybe the plan was super top secret to the point where she doesn't even know. Oh! God. Okay, you know what? The weak enemies is fine. I'll just get rid of them now. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Skip ahead. Ooh. Fortune teller? Okay. So we get more coins, I assume. More coins! Okay, I'll take it. It's not much, but I'll take it. It's coins. And no... Okay, you know what? I'm gonna see you guys to when we get to the Thousand Year Door. So I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Please don't tap me. Please don't tap me. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You know what? While I'm here, I might as well upgrade Vivian. I mean, you know, I'm here already. Let's just do it. Okay. Hello, Merlin. I would like to level up. Uh, level up. Upgrade Vivian. I see this partner. All the one we have left. So here you go. Let's upgrade Vivian. Oh, she's so happy. Now she has 20 HP, and she learned a new attack, Fiery Jinx, which costs 6 FP. But I believe it burns all enemies. I'll show it off later. But, uh, yeah, I believe it burns every enemy on, on stage. Anyway, let's go back down and to, or to the Thousand Year Door. I'll see you guys there. Alright, we are here. Now it's time to put the Crystal Star back in the door. Or release it to the door, I guess. Where's it gonna be? Where's our next area? We'll never know. You'll never know. No, I'm just kidding. Ooh. It's on some... 
island. An isolated island. Hmm. Ooh, blue star. I like that one. That one looks really nice. Alright, so our next location has been shown. Well, we'd better hurry, don't you think? We should go up to the professor's office. We have to let him know about the princess's email. Oh, yeah. Yes, we do, Vivian. Yes, we do. Whoa, 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 what? That's what's written in Princess Peach's email? The legendary treasure is actually the spirits of an ancient demon? And those fiends want to use the power of the crystal stars to resurrect it? How bone chilling. Sadly, it does seem to be consistent with all I've uncovered. What have you found out, Professor? Hmm. Well, this is rather long, pause, so you'd better listen well. Are you all ready? And you there, in front of the TV, and the computer, or phone, wherever you're watching this LP from. You listen up too, all right? Maybe I'm missing something. Are you talking to no one? Oh, never you mind! Don't worry about such trivial details. Just listen! The great cataclysm that I read about in that book may refer to this demon. And it says the monster destroyed a large town that once stood in this very area. It also says the seven crystal stars were actually created by this monster. And that this thing used the power of the crystal stars to try and control the world. According to this book, the demon was defeated in the end by four heroes. But only the beast's physical form was destroyed. Its spirit could not be eradicated. So the heroes used the crystal stars which they had stolen from the demon. And they cast the evil beast into the depths of a vast maze sealed in the exit. And sealed the exit. From this, I gather that the crystal stars cannot distinguish good from evil. So if they're all united, they can either seal away or resurrect the demon. It seems that who wields the crystal stars determines if they're used for good or evil. I guess we ought to consider not collecting the crystal stars then. It would be awful if we found them all, only to have them stolen for the per for evil purposes. Does anyone think it might be better to destroy them once and for all? That was my first thought too, but further research suggests we can't do that. There's a slight possibility that the Thousand Year Door is weakening. It seems the Crystal Stars hold the power to seal the beasts for a thousand years. So once a thousand years pass, the power to keep the door sealed shut will fail. And unfortunately, this year may be the thousandth year. Bad luck, huh? But the fact that those goons want the stars now may be a coincidence. But maybe not. In other words, we must be ready for the demon's return if the x knots fail. Oh, I guess we'd better find the rest of the crystal stars then, huh? Where do we start? Hmm. According to the map, it appears to be somewhere on Keelhaul Key. Keelhaul Key? I'm none too familiar with the place, but I've heard countless unsavory rumors. You know, the, you know, the usual stuff. Vengeful spirits of hatred, evil curses, things like that. I'm sure the sea salts down by the harbor no more. You should head there first. All right, we'll do, Professor Frankly. Let's go down to the quote-unquote sea salts but 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 there is one thing that i want to do what goomba you just walked right through vivian she is my girl no one goes inside of her except for me stop okay anyway there's one thing i want to do first lock from the inside that's the wrong wait a minute where is this place here it is there's one thing i want to do first there's a specific trouble that i want to do and uh yeah let's see Hungry, try to find me. Listen to me. Actually, no. There's a few things I want to do first. First, I want to do this trouble. Exclusive badge from question mark, question mark, question mark. I'm after an exclusive badge. Must explain in person. Meet me on the roof of Zesty's house in Rogueport Square. This poster is anonymous. This may be dangerous. Want to take on this trouble? Yes, I do. There's a, there's a certain reason why I want to take on... This trouble right now at this very moment. Meet 
this person on the roof of Zesty's health. Health? House. Um, how do we get there? I actually don't remember, but I believe we have to use Dez, Dizzy Dez here, to get on top of the roof, because now that we're up here, I believe we can just... Ooh, okay. We can make our way across there. Come on, Dez. But Vivian's my favorite party member, so I want to give her a bit more screen time. So you can stay up here. Wait, nope, this is the wrong roof. Didn't mean to go up here. It's on the other side. It's east, I believe, right? East? Left is east, right? M am I wrong? Maybe? No? I don't know. Either way, I think I remember how to get up there. Oh! Luigi! Okay, there's a bunch of things I want to do, but, you know, Luigi, you're cool. I'll save you for next episode because there's a lot to do in this episode, and it's a lot of, like, post-game... Uh, not post-game, post-chapter stuff, so don't worry, guys. I'll save Luigi for next episode. I'll get to him. But right now, I want to do this trouble first, and, okay, we're on the roof. Who is it? Mario sees who it is, but we don't. What?! Miss Mouse? <laughs> Hi, Mr. Mustache Cutie. I'm the one with the trouble. Hmm, I'm a pretty lucky girl to have a strapping fellow like you take on my trouble. Well, let's get right to it, okay? I've done all I can to find this one exclusive badge, but I've failed at every turn. The badge is hidden in Hooktail's lair. Of that much, I'm sure. I went to check that room after I heard you defeated Hooktail, but nothing. I did hear rumors that to find this badge, one has to use the wind. I have no idea what that means, though. Anyway, look for it, okay, sweetie? Uh, okay, Miss Mouse wants a bat. Why do we have to do it? She's the thief. Yeah, guys, it's time for backtracking. We have to go all the way back to Chapter 1 in Hooktail's Lair. I know, it's... That's a lot to ask for, but trust me, what you get in return for this is actually pretty cool, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I'll see you guys back at Hooktail's Lair when we've started this game, or ended the first chapter. Long time ago. Anyway, I'll meet you guys there. Oh. Guys, there's a badge I forgot to get here. HP plus, max HP, it boosts your HP by 5, okay, that could be really useful. Okay, it's a good thing I checked here. Anyway, let's get back to the actual video now. <laughs> you know what? While we're here, let's show off Fiery Jinx. Let's go. Oh, I pressed the wrong button! Wow. Okay. You're supposed to press a series of buttons and then it'll burn every enemy for a certain amount of time, and I pressed the wrong button. I, m I meant to press Y and I pressed X. That's great. But anyway, that's what it does. Yay. Hey, guys. I forgot something else in Chapter 1. If you go all the way over here, you get a star piece. I literally just noticed this now. I I forgot a lot of stuff in Chapter 1. Wow. Well, anyway, again, I'll meet you guys back at Hooktail's Lair. Oh my god, I'm finally here. How long did that even- that, that took like, like 10 minutes. Uh, I don't know for sure, but it took a long time. Anyway, they told us... To use the wind to find this badge. What you gotta do is go somewhere in the middle of here and then use Flurry and then you should find it. At somewhere in the middle. Right? Um... Oh! Wait! Oh! Okay, it tells you. Okay. Use the wind and then... Boom! We get... Let's see what the exclusive badge is. Attack FX B. Are you serious? You did all this for a sound effects badge. I really wish there was fast travel in this game. At least that's one of the many things a sequel did better than this game. Thousand Year Door is the best? Nah. Super Paper Mario for life. That sounded like a freaking 2011 joke. I'm gonna... I'm gonna die now. Oh. My. God. You better be grateful for this badge. <laughs> that face doesn't mean you found the badge? Yes, I did. And oh my god. Well, this certain... Well, this is certainly the badge that I was looking for! Oh my, yes! <laughs> now, my sweet, promise to hear me out with, without getting mad! Oh my god. You see, I was the one who hid that badge. It was a little game of mine. I have to apologize, but I knew you would find it, my handsome cheese hunk. I can't believe I said that in my regular voice. You may have even more badge-finding skills than I do. Hmm, I just thought of something. Perhaps I should travel with you from now on. Huh? 
because <laughs> I'm sure if you find lots of badges that way, I'm sure we'll find lots of badges that way, don't you think? Yes. What about that reward? Let's see. Take this badge you managed to find. Oh my god. Yeah, we got the badge. But the thing is, that's not all. You know what we got? Minus the claps. We got... A brand new party member, Miss Mouse. Fun fact, Miss Mouse is actually an optional party member. You can go through the whole game without actually letting her join you. She's optional. Her powers are not required. She's just an extra party member, which I want to get because why not? It's an extra party member. Miss Mouse's ability is a primer. Press X and Miss Mouse will sniff out any items or objects nearby. So pretty much she can help you find hidden blocks, items, or uh, treasure chests nearby. So she does have a purpose, she is useful. She's just not the most useful party member because she's optional, but still, she's a party member and I wanted to get her. She'll sniff out items, so say for example, if there's a treasure chest near or invisible block, then she'll dance and then she'll have a little thing right there and then yeah. So she'll tell you that something's definitely nearby. So she's not completely useless. She's helpful f for finding even star pieces, which I've actually missed a lot, as you saw there earlier. She can find, like, badges, hidden blocks, star pieces, items, anything that's collectible, she'll help you find. So she's actually kind of helpful in that case, or in that sense. Speaking of star pieces, I see something right there. You start the trouble. See that? If we're near something, she'll actually start sniffing, and then, hold on. She'll point in the same direction where it is. Something's near us, sweetie. Sweetie! And then, yet, yeah, star piece. But... Here's the thing, we're not done with the treasure hunting because a certain commenter told me that I missed a star piece back in chapter 3 and now that I'm finally done chapter 4, I can go back and get it. So we're not done the episode yet. We have to go back to the Glitz Pit and find that um, star piece. So I'll see you back at the spot where I, I left it. Don't worry guys, it won't take that long. It's right at the beginning. Plus, I'll skip it anyway. Oh, thank God. We can skip all that stuff. We can skip everything. It's fine. We're good. Yes. Okay. So we're back here. Miss Mouse. Now that I have you on my team, why don't you tell me? Are there any secrets around here? Hmm, yes, there should be something nearby. Hmm. Is there something that way, huh? Let's see where it is. Here's a, here's the thing. I feel really stupid because I said I found everything in the, in the whole chapter. And I even walked by... I walked past this place like 80 times in, the, in chapter 3. And I didn't get it. And how do I get behind? Wait, what? Um, wait. Uh, do I? Oh, okay. We roll. Okay, there you go. Wait, is that how? Is that the only way? In which case, I couldn't have got it back then. No, I don't think I could have got it back then. I think I had to wait until after chapter four. Well, either way, thank you for telling me because we have it now, and that's what matters the most. So now I'm gonna end off the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. If you guys enjoyed this very eventful episode, please, as usual, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, favor, and comment, and click that bell so you'll be notified with every new video I upload. Let's Plays, random gameplay, whatever I choose to upload, you will be notified. So, yeah, it will also be greatly appreciated. So with that all said, I hope you all had a great day. Wait a minute! Question of the day. Hmm, what should it be? Would you like to have Miss Mouse or somebody... Like her on your team. Like, she'll help you find treasures and stuff. I, personally, I mean, if it's legal, if she's not stealing anything, then yeah, I'd like to have her around. Unless she's stealing, in which case, no, I don't want you because you're a thief. And I, I'm, I, I'm just not for that, okay? But anyway, yeah, there's nothing left here. Now let's go back to Rogueport in the next episode. So, hope you all, so I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next episode. See you later, guys.